So today was arm day. And I haven't been doing an arm day. Usually it's it's always been a stronger body part for me. So I, I've usually thrown arms in on my end of my back day or my chest day. But <clears throat> something I've done to try to spread out my really taxing days, which like back and legs, those are really taxing. And my recovery hasn't, hasn't been as great lately. So throwing an arm day in, it's not very taxing. So it gives me a, a little bit more recovery on that day, uh, but and, and then I, you know, I can have more energy for my other days, and still doing like a four days on, one day off. So for today, I did arms and calves, and how I like to do it is is go back and forth between a bicep exercise and a tricep exercise, and I, I just like, I think it was uh, John Meadows, he had the. the you know the concept and theory of like trying to expand the arm and, and get as much volume as possible uh, training both muscles at the back and forth so I still kind of use that same approach and just like with all my other days that I train I still have my like first two lifts be a metric that I can compare compare back to and something that is uh, kind of a, a larger lift that's a little bit easier to progress on. So for biceps, my first exercise was easy bar curl. And I do uh, worked up to it's a hard set about 15 to 20 reps. Just try to fall in there. If I fall a little short, that's okay. And write that down. And then I, I went into a drop down you know, 20 pounds and try to went up to failure again. So the first is, is a little bit in higher weight and then reduce the weight and rep it out again. So two sets on that. And once I got my biceps nice and full, then I moved to triceps because I really feel like having my biceps pumped and going into triceps, it takes a little bit off my elbow. Once your arm's like fully bent and flexed, uh, that biceps pushing against your form a little bit, I feel like it takes some off my elbow. <clears throat> and I like starting with the type of push down as it also for an, an elbow reason, it kind of helps warm up. But I'll follow that same protocol that I do on easy bar curls. So I do a straight set and try to hit between 15 to 20 reps and then a reduce weight and go again to failure. And the reason I'm picking these rep ranges higher is my, my chest days, my back days, all that pressing and pulling, I'm usually working in a lower rep range. So the other other you know mechanisms of hypertrophy is producing a lot of metabolic stress, which also produces a big pump too. So I'm trying to take advantage of that on my arm day by working in the higher rep range. Following the tricep pushdowns, I went on to incline uh, in, uh, incline curls on the uh, with dumbbells. I like these, it puts the bicep in a very stretched position so you get a really good contraction. And uh, it also, you tend not to cheat as much since you have your your body against the, the bench. I wouldn't use too much of an incline, it just has to be slightly tilted back some. If it's too much, you're gonna put too much stretch on the bicep and it's a potential for an injury. For setting up for the lift, just make sure you have your chest up, shoulders kind of roll back. Uh, some people tend to lean forward while they're doing their dumbbell curls and it, it's actually kind of a way to cheat the lift. <clears throat> so just stay glued back on that on that bench. And really the only place you should be moving is, is at the elbow joint. So that dumbbell should not be rotating, traveling all the way up to the shoulder. Your shoulder shouldn't be moving at all. Um, and so on this lift I, I worked up, I did three sets, I went to a hard set of like 15 reps and then on my second and third step third set I stayed with the same weight but if I didn't hit 15 I would rest pause until I did hit 15 reps so I you know I would rest 15 20 seconds then keep repping out rest 15 20 seconds keep repping out and make sure I could get up to that 15 to 20 rep range the next lift I went to uh, is skull crushers on the incline bench so uh, moving the the elbows upward instead of down like the push down bring a different different tricep group into into the movement <clears throat> I do the same protocol that I do on incline dumbbell curls so I start with you know hard set of 15 to 20 and uh, then on my second and third set I'll rest pause until I get into that 15 to 20 rep march 
uh, range <clears throat> for those those incline those skull crushers they can be pretty hard in your elbow so you know if you are having elbow pain you can always push that rep range up higher to 20 to 25 reps and go for more um, higher reps and volume that way and just take some stress off your elbow other things about arm training you know you can do pauses and holds control the eccentric make the movement as strict as possible because you, you could definitely go heavier cheating the weight and not pausing and dropping down into, into the from the eccentric phase faster but you're only going to beat up your elbows more so just keep it really tight and controlled now that's going to save your joints for my third movement for biceps uh, i did hammer curls so i was working the brachialis and brachial radialis and i just do i just run the rack basically and it, I, I kept it to a double drop set so i think i started with 60s just roughed them out to failure I'm shooting for somewhere between 10 to 12 reps. Then I dropped to 50s, did the same thing. Then I dropped to 40s and did the same thing. I only did one set like that. So I think, you know, over the weeks, if you wanted to build more volume in, you could do that for two sets. Or if arms is a really weak point for you, that's when you could add, you know, some more in. Honestly, I think for arm training, if you're trying to bring arms up, the frequency of training is, is uh, arms responds well to. So rather than having a day where you just absolutely destroy arms uh, to where they're so sore, you can't use them again for a while, I would you know keep that same volume that I have or a little less <clears throat> and then start adding in an exercise on, say, your chest day, you add in a bicep exercise and then maybe on your shoulder day, you add, a, you add in a tricep exercise. That way, they're... You know, on your chest day, you're still working tries. On your arm day, you're working tries. On your shoulder day, you're working tries. So that's why three days a week, you're working tries. So it's a high training frequency you could do. That's just an idea to do it that way. But after doing the, the hammer curls, I moved on. I, I usually try to do a compound tricep movement as well. And I chose the, it was a, a chest press machine, but that had kind of a close grip to it. So, you know, for me, chest is, is a weaker body part, so it's a way to train it also as, a, as, a, as another secondary mover. But I uh, picked the close grip and I just do a triple drop set again, again on that. Big thing is keeping strict form, keeping your shoulders glued back so you're not bringing them into the movement, keep your shoulder blades squeezed, squeezed back. Follow all the way through to lockout and, and get a good range of motion doing it. Um, I did, you know, worked up to 10, 12 reps and then just did a double drop set from there. So that was, that was all I did for, for arms. And that's plenty for me. Like I'm not that sore day, but today I'm going to, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to go train, uh, uh, shoulders the next day. So I, I still going to be pressing the triceps. So I don't want to completely annihilate them either. <clears throat> and, uh, then at the end I, I did some calves. So I'm doing calves on my leg day and my arm day. So for calves, I just did three straight sets on the, the calf raise machine. Um, first set, I did about a, like a set of eight reps. And then I, I dropped weight and I, you know, I did around 12 reps or so. I dropped weight again for my third set and hit around 15 reps. So um, my calves got sore enough doing that. You know, I'm going to all out failure, so I don't need a lot of volume, especially because I'm training them. It's nearly every other day. So you, you, calves, like arms, I think they do respond well to high frequency. You don't have to do every exercise in the gym to just make them so sore you can't walk. Uh, so I would just slowly over the weeks build in more volume for calves. You know, add in one one exercise and one set of it. Like like if, if I wasn't that that sore, what I'd probably do is add in CD calf raises for one set, one all out set, and and go from there. But that wraps up my arm day. Again, go on my uh, animalpack.com to the forum. I have asked the animal section. You can ask me questions on there. Or if you go on to uh, Jewett's Path on my on the My Journey section, I have uh, post up my workouts daily, guys. So follow along and check, check it out.